Hi everyone, in this video I'll be briefly covering the banner that's coming up in the upcoming Shulk's Lost Chapter event. There are two characters that I'll be briefly covering here, and the first is Lulu. Lulu's role in the party is primarily a fire enchanter and in parallel. Her kit hasn't been updated for quite a long time, so with her rework tomorrow, her base kit will be changed considerably, but most of the changes are to make her damage to be more in line with the current meta, especially her S1 and S2 will now be multiple HP dumps. Her EX has always been fairly hard hitting and will also be upgraded with her C90 as well. That being said, her biggest improvement of course comes in the form of a newly released LD, which on top of boasting huge damage also has two additional great additions that really cements her role as a fantastic fire enchanter and in parallel. The first is that it ramps up her doll master trademark stacking buff immediately up to 5 stacks, which in the past she required I believe at least 2 turns to get maximum stacks. The second change and this is I think primarily her biggest draw is that it now changes her fire enchant to be so called true enchant or I, will, I always like to think of it as a mega enchant. Normally, when you enchant any character with an element, it will only affect non-elemental attacks. And abilities or attacks with an innate element will always have their innate element rather than the element that you enchant with. However, with Lulu, that's actually not the case. Lulu's fire enchant will tack on the fire element to every attack regardless of whether or not it already has an element. This means, for example, if a boss absorbs thunder element, normally you wouldn't be able to use any thunder elemental attacks in the fight, even if you enchant an element. But with Lulu's true or mega fire enchant, the thunder elemental attack will now be a thunder and fire elemental attack. And since Lulu will be able to imperil fire weakness as well, that means that that attack which was which will previously be absorbed by the boss will not actually be dealing weakness damage because the fire weakness will actually take higher priority than the thunder absorb in the fight. In a way, I sort of think of her as a mirror to Rydia. Rydia has sort of like a true or mega water in peril, whereas Lulu has a true or mega fire enchant. So Rydia excels at being a uh, super in parallel, and I guess Lulu excels at being a super enchanter instead. A very plus point also in my opinion is that you can also access this fire enchant and in peril through her LD call ability as well, therefore affording you great flexibility when you are building your party. The next character that I will really very briefly talk about will be Shulk. Shulk's role in the party is primarily sort of like a damage dealer with added capabilities of getting free and multiple turns, so it's somewhat of a semi turn hogger character. And she also has a little bit of utility thrown in where she can dispel all enemies buffs through her LD. Her S1 and S2 will get reworked to have 2 HP dumps each, and while that may not seem like a lot, don't forget that part of the way her kit works is that she gets multiple consecutive free turns. So while her damage per action may not be that high, her damage per turn count is actually pretty decent in the current meta. She gets an instant free turn after every turn that she gets, and she also gets an instant free turn after any turn the enemy gets. Her LD also gives her the ability to sort of reset her entire status to quest start time. This includes completely resetting her S1 and S2 skill counts, dispelling all debuffs on herself, and filling her EX gauge to full. This is on top of the aforementioned ability of also dispelling all enemies buffs on LD use. Because she gets an instant turn after every turn that she gets, you can weave in her additional ability use, which are already naturally instant turn themselves, to give her multiple consecutive turns throughout the run, not forgetting that even her additional ability 
will be reset to full skill count upon LD use. Now just covering briefly about my opinion on the value of this banner, Shulk I think has the potential to actually be quite a decent damage dealer, but a lot of it depends on how you capitalize on her free turns and it's not as simple as just mashing buttons because you do have to keep track of when she gets her free turns and try to weave in her additional ability to maximize the number of consecutive turns that she can get and that will drastically alter the damage that she can do. I guess the drawback about Shulk really only is that she's not the only sort of turn hogger DPS available at this point in the game. We have had Terra who was recently released who I actually really like because she's a very straightforward turn hogger to use. You just press her LD and you get a bunch of free turns after that. We also do have Tidus that's going to reappear again in the early Shinryu era with his FR as well and he is actually a great pickup in terms of a damage dealer but also in terms of a turn hogger DPS. While Shulk's ability to completely reset her skill counts in S1, S2 and additional ability is pretty unique and I guess could be something worthwhile to invest in. The good thing is that in almost every fight, you probably never run out of skills or come even close to run running out of skill counts anyway. Personally, for me, the main prize of the banner is Lulu. Being the only character in the game with a so-called true or mega enchant does certainly seem very attractive. And having access to that as a pocket enchanter through an LD call ability certainly is also an added incentive. But if I were to be completely honest, I think it is a rather, or I should say, very niche ability to have. In most stages, you could probably just get by with regular enchant and imperil, and in most cases, having the true enchant probably wouldn't even make much of a difference. Also, considering that many players would have pulled for Garnet or at least have access to Garnet as a friend support and Garnet being able to enchant and imperil two elements at once would be adequate for most stages in the game. The number of times where a true enchant would be needed, I would say, would be pretty uncommon to say the least. So whether or not to pull for Lulu, I think, just depends on whether or not you want to have another enchanter in parallel with the added but niche you, you ability to have a true, so-called true enchant. I think the value of the banner here really reflects a lot on the resources you have and how much you really want or need another enchanter in parallel and or turn hogger DPS. Certainly, if you don't have either of these roles in your roster, then the value of the banner shoots up considerably. And if you really don't have some sort of enchanter in parallel, I strongly recommend to pull on this banner because having at least one enchanter in parallel, especially as a call ability, is very useful in this game. Shulk as the turn hogger DPS also benefits very nicely with often damage dealers. Chief of which we recently had both Sisne and Freya and they could pair very nicely with Shulk as well. As for me, I plan to throw in tickets chasing after Lulu's LD. I don't actually have any of Shulk's gear so any of Shulk's gear that I pick up is an added bonus as well. But I always prize LD call abilities as having the additional utility helps a lot. And although Lulu's true enchant is rather niche, I would rather have it than miss it. So that's it for this video. As always, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!